Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Cease and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Run With The Wind episode 7. Yeah, we're at episode 7 already. <laughs> yeah, last episode we finally persuaded King to run with the group as well. So at this point, everyone seems to be on board with like running together. Not everyone is convinced yet to that they can participate in Hakone Ikiden, but at least everyone is willing to run for the fun. So with Ethan King on board, let's just see what's gonna happen next. I'm so excited to see this episode, so let's just hop right into it. All right, I'm ready, so I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one, go. Tokyo Sport Uni track meet! Are we finally gonna see a track meet? <gasps> I'm so excited. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> but I'm really excited. Oh, I really wanna see a track meet. Because, like, until now, we've only seen, like, everyone practice and trying to persuade everyone to join the group as well. But they keep they keep like saying about like explaining by all the track meets and stuff. So I'm really really excited to see like one of those officials official races. Let's see how everyone's gonna do it. Because even though um, Kakeru is more willing to run together with the team, but he's still pessimistic. Like, he still... Um, he still thinks that they are unable to participate in Hakone Ekiden. But actually, like, the thing he's most afraid of is that everyone's hopes being crushed by, like, facing the reality. We'll see. We'll see. Everyone's already there. Except for... Oh, crap! <laughs> oh. Who's that? Hi G. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, of course, it's not weird that some of them can drive already. <laughs> Wait, does Haiji not even have a license? <laughs> oh, Prince. Check us in. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Sakaki, right? Yeah, Sakaki. That one. Oh, friends. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> Hi, G. Oh, yeah, there are more teams. It's not just them two, but... Hello. He's tall. <laughs> Even Sakaki and those guys are scared of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? <laughs> exactly. Fujioka Kazuma? I'll try to remember. <laughs> I just said <so> savage. <laughs> Is it at their school? That they have to do all this course. Oh, can we finally see everyone in those running uh, suits? Or I don't know how you call it, like top and shorts. Yeah, the running outfit. <laughs> yeah! Selfie! Ah, Musai already good enough. <laughs> Weird mode. Three years in a row. <laughs> oh. Girl is gonna snap. Yeah, everyone is now taking it quite lightly. So I understand that. Oh, yeah, that's car. But I understand that uh, Kakeru is a little bit worried right now.
Oh, I'm getting nervous. Yeah, and they have more chances. They don't have to like um, get uh, like reach the norm already. <laughs> Someone has it. Yeah, even I'm curious. Did he finally get to see a trick meet? Oh, it's making me nervous, this. Oh! Okay. Yeah, they have to run five kilometers, which is really, really long. So even those, yeah, even if someone may run ahead at the beginning, it's it doesn't mean necessarily that he can keep that up, right? Hey. Did the guy run against his knee? Oh, Sakaki's not even participating. <laughs> Prince, you can do it! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, everyone is slowly getting tired. Whoa, see how focused he is, yeah. Ooh. That was a cool switch in perception. Oh, oh, he's speeding up. Is he catching up? Yeah, he's surprised. He didn't expect someone to. Uh... Kika Chan.
<laughs> yeah, this is how he always would. <laughs> Oh my god. I just hope that everyone just fi reaches the finish. That that's what I hope for. If even Prince can reach the finish, I'm super happy. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, I knew I knew that guy would just come out of nowhere. He was way too un how you say Yeah, he was the whole time like kinda in the background, so I knew that he would like pop up out of nowhere. Oh my god, everyone is like, like how you say it, they're now getting one lap ahead of everyone, so let's see how that affects the team. Yeah, even Kakeru is like one lap ahead. Oh, okay, one, two, three then, so Kakeru is third, I suppose, yeah, I think so. But, but still, like, third is really good. Hi, G! Yeah. I think even Kakeru surpassed his limit right now. Look how much he's shaking. Yeah. Oh. He cannot just admit like that. He still has kind of that, that trauma from high school. How did Prince, how did Prince do it? Oh. 
Oh, so even Haiji uh, achieved the record. Still keeps on running. Slow down. <laughs> oh, is that the end? Oh my god, it's the end of the episode. Ah. <sighs> By the way, I'm obsessed with this ending song. <laughs> I have done my playlist on Spotify and I just keep repeating it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> it's just so good. It's so, it's so chill to listen to this song. And then I'm on my way to school and just listening to this song. Alright, so that was the seventh episode of Run With The Wind and we finally got to see the first track meet! Woo! <laughs> oh, I was looking forward to it so much because they've been building it up so much until this point. So, it was really like the point, like finally, finally the track meet! Yeah, we got to see Sakaki again even though he didn't participate in the track meet. I, it, I think it was just at their school, so they had to like build up the track and everything and prepare everything. So we got a bit of like the conversation between him and Kakeru, but then Haiji interrupted them and then they got interrupted by the other guy. And... I... Fujioka, I think. I think his name was Fujioka. Um... <laughs> Anyways, that super, super good runner who has already run the Hakone Ekiden like three times or so and he's like kind of the champion kind of character, but he's acquainted with Haiji somehow. <laughs> but then in the end when he was speaking to Kakeru about Haiji as well, I thought that was really meaningful. Like he asked Kakeru to take care of Haiji which caught Kakeru really by surprise because until this point like Haiji has been leading the group he has he's been trying to motivate everyone to run together like also kind of forcing it but he has put in a lot of effort we already know that he has been waiting for ages to run the Hakone Ekiden we know about his injury we don't know what happened but we know he has had a surgery on his legs and he has been recovering from it for a very long time and finally he's running again. Not, He's not back at his full speed yet, that's also what Fujioka said. But when he asked Kakeru to take care of Haiji and lead the team together, I thought that was really meaningful. Because Haiji, he has been doing every, everything on his own right now. He has been trying to lead the team and do everything on his own. He has been a really good team captain, but... As I also suspected like a couple of episodes ago, he will probably come ac across a point where he will, where he is stuck, like 
He cannot do everything by himself anymore. It, it just gets too much for him. That's what I suspect will happen. So he really needs someone by his side that supports him. And that is something that Haji still doesn't have. So I think Kakeru, who is the fastest runner of the team and also the most experienced one, is a really suitable person to do that. We already saw in this track meet that Haiji got bumped into someone that touched ex accidentally his legs and we already saw that it hurted Haiji um, a bit, I don't know how much, but because like Haiji could still finish the, um, the track meet and got his official record. So Kakeru and Haiji already qualified. The rest of the team still has to do that, but we know that some of the members are already close. Prince is still far, far, far away. But I don't really remember, like, what was the time of Prince? Was he still, like, over 30 minutes? Or was he already in 30 minutes? Because that makes a big difference. Even though he's the weakest of the team, or, like, the slowest of the team, like, speed-wise, he always says those good phrases, um, strong phrases. Like, he gets really, really bothered when other people say bad things about the team and insults them. But at least everyone finished the track meet and that is what I was hoping for. It would because what I I was a little bit afraid that some of them might have felt discouraged because like a lot of people, like the fast people, kept like running past them like one lap ahead or two laps ahead, I don't really know. But I thought maybe some of them would get discouraged by it. Also seeing how tired they were getting, they were sweating more and more. So I'm glad that everyone at least got over the finish line and doesn't feel really demotivated yet. Like at the end, Kakeru was like, see, no, this, this, this is reality. But everyone was like, yeah, so what? They weren't really bothered by it. So yeah, Kakeru ran away by himself and he's still haunted by like his past and we already know kind of what happened, Not, we don't know the whole story because there's also that thing with Sakaki that we don't know about. But I'm really curious to know about it. And Haiji already tried to talk a lot with Kakeru and he already said a lot of things which had some impact on Kakeru. But I think we need someone else that tries to convince Kakeru that running is not just about time, about performances, about results, but it's also about fun and just being together, running together. And Kakeru doesn't seem to realize it, but I hope that someone will just get that point through, because if someone managed to do that, then Kakeru will be like the freest runner ever. And that would be great. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed this episode. Like, we finally got to see the track meet, and this is kind of like a starting point we know where everyone is at now like we got like real like official times for the first time and from now on they can only grow right they can only grow so i'm really curious to see how everyone is gonna evolve from this point onwards and how this story is gonna unfold so i really enjoyed this episode i hope you also like my reaction so if you like my reaction please give this video a thumbs up and if you're curious to see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye!